This is 3 MDR. 22, 51, Good. 31. It stands for movement, desensitization, and reprocessing, or in plain English, learning how to face your fears and to overcome them. 42 veterans are trialing this treatment over two years. It's already underway in Holland and Canada, but this is the first trial in Britain. So how does it work? The veterans choose six to seven images based on events that can trigger their PTSD, an Afghan village with a wounded civilian perhaps, or the funeral of a colleague. They start off gently, getting harnessed up so they stay safe on the treadmill. Then they begin their seven-minute journey, walking into a serene and safe environment accompanied by music that they select themselves. The veteran is joined by a therapist for the next stage of the journey. OK, Neil? How's yep, pretty good. Right. Yep. Speed OK? Speed's fine. Speed's good. Yep. He walks into a virtual corridor with a door at the end of it. It opens to reveal okay. one of the images yeah. he has chosen. And he deliberately walks towards a traumatic scene he may have tried to bury. Then some talking therapy takes place. So when you look at that photo right now, what feelings does it evoke right now? Um, adrenaline. Adrenaline? Best way to describe it, I think. Yeah. Expectation. The words the patient chooses to describe his feelings are displayed on the screen. 72, 55, 23, 95. Then he focuses on numbered red balls to allow the disturbing image on the screen to move to a different part of the brain. So this is borrowed from a, an existing treatment for PTSD called eye movement desensitization reprocessing therapy that either uses the veteran's finger or uses a handheld device that vibrates or sounds through headphones. So it's a bilateral stimulation that's meant to trigger the left and right hemisphere of the brain, which allows the patient to process that traumatic memory into the past where it should be. The veterans work in a controlled environment. Their heart rate and gait is monitored for safety and to analyse any changes that take place. John Skipper is an army veteran who developed PTSD after a tour of Bosnia. The experience I had was in relation to the genocide at Srebrenica. Um, I didn't know it at the time, although I, I felt there was something definitely different about me. It was um, watching uh, the horror of what was unfolding, and we knew it was going to happen, and we could do nothing about it. That's the worst thing about it. Um, something at the time broke inside me. I, I could feel it. It took 10 years for his symptoms to develop, and he has helped set up this trial for veterans going through their own problems. Because PTSD is, is awful, I know. Um, you know, you, you hurt the people, sorry. You know, you can hurt the people you don't want to. It affects families, and you become quite selfish and self-centered. And I think that, that, that motivates me, you know, to try and put something back, because I've known um, fellows in my own core who have succumbed to PTSD you know, and taken you know, the, the, the route that you read about um, of ending their own lives. So what kind of feedback is the project getting? We're very early days. We've had um, two patients complete their therapy and they've been seen uh, by our researcher who's done a qualitative interview with them about you know, what, what was it like compared to the therapy you had before how different is it, what was, what was helpful, not helpful. So, so early days, but those two patients are saying that their sleep's improved, their anger and arousal has improved, and they're, they're getting on with people a bit better than they were at home. If the pilot project proves successful for veterans, it could also help civilians to deal with fears such as arachnophobia. So I've had a little try of this 3MDR therapy. I walked towards my fear stimulus, which was a giant tarantula. Uh, I still feel a little nervous. I think I would need a few more sessions, but at least I've got a taster of how this kind of therapy works. For those suffering from PTSD, this could be a first step to recovery. Victoria Smith, Forces News, Cardiff.